So if if uh, six, seven yard of material is needed to make a blanket, how many blankets can be made from 12 yards of material? So that's a good one. Okay, so let's talk about this then. I'm gonna I'm gonna take these annoying numbers, the six sevenths and stuff. I'm gonna replace it with easier fractions, easier numbers. And we're just gonna look at this question. So we're just gonna look at this. What if what if the question was this? One half a yard makes one blanket, a half a yard of material. So um, you know, that's a small blanket, must be for a like a a doll or something, right? Um, so here's a yard of material. Here's a half of a yard, right? So here's a half a yard of material. And that's going to make one blanket. You clear on that? Yeah. That makes sense? So so like the full yard would make, how many, how many blankets could you make from a whole yard of material? Two. Two, right, because it's a half a yard and a half a yard, right? So two half yards makes... Here we have two blankets. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. So one of the tricks of problem solving is to take the annoying numbers that's that's given us a headache and just replace them with easy numbers. But ask yourself the exact same question, right? So now, can we try to figure out how many blankets can we make from 10 yards? Okay, so then you would just divide. Right, right. So the answer would be what for this question? 10 divided by 1 half. Right, correct, which is? Or basically Five. for it, right. So for every, for every yard, for every yard you would make two blankets, right? Right. Because this is like one yard of material from here to here and that's making us two blankets so every yard is making us two blankets so 10 yards is going to make us 20. so the operation is to say you know we have 10 and whenever we talk about division is kind of like contained in and we're kind of saying how many halves are contained in 10 right and that's how we construct this 10 divided by a half to get the answer. How many halves are contained in 10? And so that becomes 10 over 1 times 2 over 1, which is 10 times 2, 20 blankets, right? Okay. Right. Um, I'm just going to do, I, I can't resist just doing an even easier one, but what if it was, what if it was something like, you know, Three yards of material makes one blanket. So uh, how many blankets from um, 15 yards? Do you know what I mean? So if three yards makes one blanket, how many blankets could you get out of 15 yards? What would you do there? Or what would the answer be? Three yards of material. We five. Yeah. So three yards of material making one blanket. If you had 15 yards of material, you'd make five blankets, right? There they are. And each of these is three yards, although they don't, don't look like it. They should, though. Three yards, right? And the way you do that is you would go 15. And how many threes are contained in 15? 15 divided by 3, right? How many threes are contained in 15? That is 5, so 5 blankets. So again, the problem-solving skill is take the annoying question and put in easy numbers and see if you can figure it out that way. And if you're doing a test, that's a good thing to do as well. So back to the annoying question that we're actually given, which is six, seven yards of material to make one blanket. How many blankets can be made from 12 yards of material? So here's six sevenths. Six, seven yards makes one blanket. And another six, seven yards makes another blanket. 
and another six, seven yards makes another blanket and so on and so forth. We keep getting these six, seven lengths to make blankets. But what we're trying to figure out is how many six, sevens are going to add up to 12, right? So how many of these six, sevens are we going to add up until we have um, 12 yards of material? Does that make sense? Yeah. And we keep taking these six, sevens lengths of material and we keep adding them up, sevens, sorry, sevens. And how many of them is going to make 12? So the way to do that is you go, how many six, sevens are contained in 12? 12 divided by six, sevens, right? And that's the operation, which is 12 over 1 times, let's flip it, 7 over 6. And instead of getting 84 over 6 and making that 14, it's better to go 6 into 6 goes 1, 6 into 12 goes twice, 2 times 7 is 14, 1 times 1 is 1, 14 over 1 is 14. And so the answer is actually 14 blankets. If we had 14 of these 6, 7 yards of material, that would add up to 12 yards of material total. So you can make 14 blankets. Here's one blanket. Here's another one. Right? Here's another one. And eventually, if you add them all up, you'll find that there's 14 six-sevenths contained within uh, 12. All right?